All right, hello guys. We are so close to done right now. I am so proud of all of you if you're able to keep up. What we have right now is all this blue done here, all this matching here, all this green done here, all this matching here. As you can see, um, the only moves that we're allowed to do right now are U2s, so never spin the top only one time. Always spin it twice. So I can, you know, end up with my blues over here, greens over here, that's fine. I always spin it twice, and then we can spin the middle however we want, it's fine. So, um, the final step is we're going to solve everything else. The last four edges, basically. Um, there's a lot of little, there's a lot of intuitive ways you can figure this out, but I think one of the best tips I've heard was in another video where he said, Look at the top, and if you happen to have two bad, I mean two in a row and then one that's not, look at the bottom and look for the same thing. They should be, this will happen very often, two and then one. If you have two and one, you want to take your two and one and put them kind of above each other. So now I have my two ones here, my two ones here. And then I want to bring that two one, I mean these two ones up to the top and spin twice. And that'll get us closer to where we need to be. And now we're going to look, and I see I have a bar here, and I have a bar here. These are opposite colors, and these are opposite colors. That means that this needs to be spun around, and this needs to be spun around. So if you have bars, often you're going to need to spin the bar around. So I'll spin the, the white bar first, bring it to the top, spin it around. And now my last bar is right here. Bring it to the top, spin it around. And we're done. Oh my god, wasn't that easy? Ugh. This is a very intuitive step. And just remember, as long as you as long as you only do U2s at this point and M's, you're not gonna mess anything up. And there's only a limited number of ways this can be. And eventually you're gonna get used to all of them and you're just gonna be able to solve it. So I have a few set up. Uh, hold it the right way. I look and I have two here two here, so the one's in the back, one's in the back, bring that one up to the top, spin it, this is the exact same as last time, I have two bars, so I'm going to bring the white bar up first, it's a little faster than bringing the yellow bar up first, but done. Hopefully I got some more interesting ones than that. Two, one, two, one, so I take my one and bring it to the top, and this one's actually really close to done, so that's done. Oh my god. Two, one, two, one. The ones need to be here. So I'm not going to spin the bottom. I keep telling you that somebody's going to spin the bottom and then get mad at me and tell me that my video is crap. If you spin the bottom, that's on you. Spin the top. That creates our bar. Spin the top. Boom. I actually did that one upside down, but that's okay. All right, this is the most annoying one. This is when you have dot, 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 dot. This looks really cool. It's a nice design. Everything's fixed over here, and you just have four dots in the middle. To fix this, spin the top twice. Do an M2. Spin the top twice. And now you're going to be left with two rails. Rail, spin that rail, spin that rail, and then finish it off. Bingo. Um... This one's just a rail here and a rail here. These look so similar to each other, but that's because they are. There's only a handful of ways these can be messed up. So I'm going to bring this one up, spin this rail around. That's going to leave these two matching here, these two matching here. The last rail that we need to spin is right here. And then we're just one move away from done. All right. This one, I look at the top. One, two, one. One, two, one. So the ones need to be back here. Bring this up to the top, spin it, and now I look again. So I don't see right away, you know, I, I don't want to spin this one, but I do see one, two, one, or two, one, two, one. So I need to bring this one up. Sorry, I'm going to do that a better way. So I need to bring this one up, spin the top, and that's done. Great job. Um, watch my video multiple times. I'll create uh, things you can print out. And leave those in the description and uh, 
you should be able to solve using this method. Uh, if you like this method, share it with your friends. And this will lead into speed solving too, which is really a great thing. Um, I'm going to show you, actually I'll do that in the next video. I have one bonus video where I just show you a couple example solves. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a solved Rubik's Cube in your possession right now. Um, goodbye.